Hey everybody, it's Vivi Vu, and welcome to a sketchbook tour. And this video is about my experience of how I realized I needed to cut off all of my friends. Yes, it's been a few months now since I cut off all my friends. And you're probably wondering, Vivian, why would you do such a thing? It's not good to be alone, right? Well, I'm going to tell you about how I realized that a lot of my friends were actually indirectly making me feel like crap. Um, actually, the most recent event was there's two friends that I used to call my best friends, or that's how we used to label it. But once I stopped texting them and let them get back to me, they forgot about me for like six months. So it's already been ever since January or December and they haven't even texted me and they haven't even wondered about me. And then that makes me wonder, hmm, do they actually really care about me or was it that I always have to give to the relationship for them to make an effort? So yeah, I actually originally cut off this group of friends that I used to think I had to hang out with and then once I cut off those friends, I thought I could keep my two best friends but then they also proved me wrong so you know here we are um, I have literally no one to talk to I can't even talk to my parents but you know that's okay because next is a new era of making friends that actually encourage me and now it wasn't that my friends or my old friends weren't nice people the problem was they were nice people and they would covertly make me feel like not good about myself. It, it, the worst part of it was that is covertly, like even they wouldn't notice. So, you know, how could I notice? And out of all the friends that I could have been with um, during high school and whatever, they are actually the most high vibrational out of the friends that I could have made friends with in high school but they were still they were still making me feel like crap and I think I had to pretend a lot to be somebody and you know when I awakened and everything um, the moment that I started to have confidence in myself the moment that I I awakened to my spiritual abilities like clear cognizance when I wanted to open up about those things, they actually ended up talking down on me. And that really shocked me, especially when I started my YouTube channel and I wanted to create the My Dearest You videos. I could never, I wanted to share the videos with them, but whenever I did, they would always either shut it down or they would stay silent. Like, there's this one, oh my god, this one situation that I literally like could not believe like it actually happened so it was during a voice call and I wanted to show my first ever piano video right that I worked really hard on and everybody in my in my friend group played Genshin Impact so like they would know all the songs and when I brought it up nobody like everybody was like so talkative before so when I brought it up everybody just went silent okay that's a red flag is this really happening right now like so yeah Oh my god and like you know those types of people that copy what you're doing but will never say that they like what you're doing or will never outwardly admit that they admire you so they'll basically like do the same thing as you but like pretend it's their thing that i never noticed that like i was so whole like i am such a genuine wholesome person that i never even knew that existed like i didn't even know that this was possible so when i realized that and, and i realized like i was literally in the middle of like that entire situation a hundred percent yeah so stuff like that that makes you feel like you know your growth is not what they want i think i've said this before in my previous my dearest you videos but it's like people already knew that i would grow out of them someday because i was destined for something but they didn't want that to happen so they kind of like chained me down or like 
indirectly kind of cage me in and make me try not to notice so they could keep me around but at that cost i had low self-esteem i didn't believe in myself and i always thought you know i need to trade a part of myself in order to be loved and that's not true at all i had to learn that really really late and i think it's because you know my friend groups and the friends that i made friends with reflected the relationship that i had with my parents at a young age which was um you need to do this or else you won't be loved but i learned like you could you don't have to compromise any part of your true self to be loved you can actually be your true self and be loved at the same time and a lot of people actually don't realize this a lot of people think that they have to do this um, or they have to be a certain way to be loved and actually your true self the self that is fully actualized um, underneath everyone's you know insecurities and struggles and stuff is lovable and people don't know that oh my god <laughs> so so yeah it's been like a super long journey but you don't know how good it felt when I stopped using my Instagram. I deleted my other Instagram with all of my selfies on it to minimize um, weird people exchanging energies with me. I stopped using my Discord to respond to people. Like, I used to think it was a chore. Like, I treated it like a chore, like I would respond to everybody who texted me because I wanted to be nice or I wanted to be kind, not realizing that most of it was just, you know, people being bored and it didn't actually matter, whereas I would earnestly respond to everything. And once I stopped doing that and I realized how much time I actually had to work on the things that I love, like people thought I was talented but like that's like the bare minimum I haven't even spent any self time like I've never even spent any free time working on my hobbies so far throughout my life it's only been obligated time toward my hobbies but now this past year I've been spending free time on my hobbies and they think I'm talented now look what I'm gonna do later because I'm actually investing in myself and this sketchbook to me is a time where I invested in my thing without having to worry about responding to people who didn't actually genuinely want to support me um so yeah fake friends a lot of fake friends fake friends as in the nicest friends in town but still fake welcome to planet earth everybody and if you're out there thinking and realizing that you need to cut off all your friends too I want to let you know that it's totally possible, you can totally do it, being alone is not the end of the world. Actually, you might find that being alone is much nicer than being with people who always want your attention, who always want your energy. So yeah, I did that. I cut off all of my friends. And if you're still watching this video, I want to say thank you for watching all of it, lots of love, and I hope I will see you again in the next video. Bye!